just to show it like this, okay. Good evening. Good evening and welcome you all for yet another most awaited episode number four. Let us hear my school. As usual, we have here with us our Samaji Brahmachari Maheshwar Chaitanyaji, who is the chairman for admissions to all the Amada School of Engineering and Amada Vishwavidyapina. To brief you all about his profile, he is a commerce graduate, but later on completed his post graduation in masters in computer application. If in fact his specialization is in programming and he has taken, he is currently also the contest director for the well known ICPC, International Collegiate Programming, Contest Programming, and he has been instrumental for getting more and more number of students into this programming contest. And he's been associated for almost more than a decade and he has been awarded the leadership award in the year 2018 for his contribution towards ICPC. He's been teaching for the for almost 15 years and uh, we have in fact honored by his presence and I would request Swamiji to light the lamp of knowledge and seek the blessings of our Chancellor Amma Mata Amadandamai Deviji. Over to Swamiji here. Thank you, Swamiji, for the blessings. And uh, my name is Mithil Krish, and I've been associated with Amrita Vishwavidya Pitam for over a decade now. I'm actually a person with marketing background. I work with different companies. I've started my career with uh, Taj Coromandel Hotel. I've worked with Procter & Gamble. I worked with Ivory India Limited, Jensen & Nicholson, MR of Tires, and latest. The late, lately, I retired from my marketing career in the year 2006 when I was around 47, 48 years with the TBS group of companies. So that is my background because a few of you have mentioned that I don't introduce myself. So thank you for reminding me. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. Currently, I am taking care of the career competency development of the students who enroll into Amanda Vishwa. So that's all on me and just you are all ready for the 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 Chief guest of the today, chief guest of today, we have been long. I mean, let me tell you before, I'm so excited today that's not getting words in myself because we have a, a, we have a total registration close to thousands, which is really, really uh, not worthy and uh, you know, sort of alarming uh, registration for this particular uh, talk. And uh, we also have uh, quite a few questions lined up. We have, in fact, more than 600 questions with me. These are the questions. 
Uh, I think uh, if I have to discuss the 600 questions individually, it will take a long time, but I'm going to do that. I will tell you how am I going to do that is not uh, uh, do it today, but I certainly would like to come back again. I would certainly like to come back again tomorrow at four o'clock uh, with our chief guest and then go one by one, one by one, so that everyone who have raised, uh, who has raised queries on various, various, various subjects, various topics, uh, we and he's so happy. He's so he's he, we are such have the honor of uh, having our chief guest to clear all your doubts. And uh, I would give you a number if you can just send hi to that number. It's a WhatsApp number. We'll get back with you. We'll get back to you on that particular link. What you're going to have it for tomorrow. So all these questions we will take it on tomorrow at 4 p.m. again with uh, Mr. Ravi, uh, Ravi Chandran. But then it's time for me to introduce Mr. Ravi Chandran to all of you here. Uh, Mr. Ravi Chandran, uh, uh, with a teaching and administrative career extending over 42 years, has a vast and a varied academic experience from different types of schools, ethnic groups, differentially, differently abled and multicultural groups associated with CBSC states and British boards. His experience in setting up customized school curriculum for different levels of schools and training the teachers to be fully conversant on the process objectives and end results help many schools to develop as frontline schools. As a teacher trainer, active with international agencies like Tata Howard Online Courses, Discovery Education, Training Magazine Network, TED Education, Google Education, and Microsoft Educator Educators Community brought improvements in students and teachers to focus on dedication to excellence. As a principal of leading schools in India and abroad, he achieved marked improvements in schools, performance, perfor performances in boards, community exams, and benchmarking exams. Specialized in school economy, teacher professional development, and leadership training for students, he attended several training camps and workshops, collaboration, collaborations and classroom research from University of Montreal, challenger learning centers gave an insight and exposure to teachers, Strained in Queen's University, Canada, Lowborough University, UK. He had led several professional development programs for the teachers. He served Navodaya Vidyalaya Samiti, and he was, I was just informed by him that he was the assistant commissioner when he left them. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan uh, at Kodaikanal, Oak Ridge International Schools, and uh, Tata's, the high range school at Munar, etc., as principal for over three decades. Mr. Ravichandran research, Ravichandran's research interests include differentiated remedial instructions and projected based learning foundation. In this distinguished career in academia, he has devised learning strategies for quality improvements. Mr. Ravichandran is a visionary academic, academician who is extremely passionate about teaching and pedagogical practices. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us. And uh, he's going to talk to you all on online teaching and its effectiveness. I, I understand from each of you, the teachers who are now facing the battle, sitting at home and uh, teaching the students off the classroom with an online strategy. In fact, when I was talking to one of those uh, uh, academicians, she was mentioning to me that it was a war declared all of a sudden and we had to send the teachers as army men without any weapon in hand. So now it's a process of learning uh, to as to how one should conduct the online classes, which will, will create impact in the minds of our children and also create that effectiveness so that our children learn what is being taught. So thank you on behalf of all the viewers, all the teachers, educators who are here with us, and especially from Amrita Vishwavidya Pena, Ravi sir, that you have taken your time to educate the teachers on handling online classes. The process is like this. Uh, you have a PowerPoint which need to be presented to the viewers. You can go on with the PowerPoints and I'll keep watching that if any questions pop up, I will stop you for some time to clarify and we clarify the doubts on each of the PowerPoints and then go on to the other PowerPoints. If that is okay with all of us, let me start and let's all jointly welcome Mr. Ravi sir to this wonderful show. Let's hear my school. Over to you, sir. 
Hello and welcome to the session handling online classes and its effectiveness. Uh, thanks to Amrita School of Engineering and my special thanks to uh, Dr. Maheshwar Chaitanya and also Professor Methil Krish who brought me here and uh, gave me a great opportunity. Thank you so much both of you sir and uh, uh, so today's uh, session uh, we would like to discuss the problems which are uh, going on in schools there due to the online and uh, due to that uh, lockdown which happened. But a lot of uh, teachers connect me and they have been asking uh, quite a number of things there. Uh, there are lots of discomfort uh, levels. There are lots of comfort levels. There. So I will go briefly before the PowerPoint. I'll just uh, take you through a small uh, brief on this. Years back, uh, World Boxing Championship Muhammad Ali was asked a question by someone. Can you teach me boxing by correspondence course? So when somebody asked me whether he can teach correspondence course, uh, I mean, in those days that uh, letter letting and all that mailing, uh, that was a correspondence course they used to come. We are many of you have done even beard classes through correspondence course from an analyst here. So, so can you teach me boxing by correspondence course was a question. And then uh, if you imagine your answer for it, and therefore now today we are standing at a crossroad and the lockdown now has made it inevitable for a parallel scenario that is the online teaching and learning. So online teaching and learning is also like learning boxing by correspondence course or it's not that cumbersome. It's not that cumbersome as it uh, they means uh, the online uh, teaching and learning is much more easier. It's not that cumbersome as the boxing, uh, but then nevertheless there are apprehensions and inhibitions uh, in spite of the best inputs, the best efforts put in by teachers. The beginning there was a lot of thrill, but then uh, now the thrill at the beginning is a square wheel. It has become so this square wheel issue is always a big issue with uh, in, in many areas. And uh, you understand what is a square wheel they, when you put a square wheel on a cart? How does it go about? So we are aware uh, that the school education now is facing an unprecedented crisis at this juncture. And uh, you, you know pretty well what's all happening with schools there, but you are all but I'm very happy to say and very cheerful to say this that uh, you are all well determined to imbue the teaching learning process with care, concern and compassion. So let's begin the discussions with the most prevalent question. When are the schools likely to open and will it ever open at all in full fledged manner in this academic year or not? And uh, so most of the discussion when the schools are call me or when teachers call me, this is their one uh, question there. When will the school open or so? So I asked them uh, why, why after all? suppose if it doesn't open so whole academic area out run through online. How do you feel or how is it all going to happen? So they have some answers. I'll come to that by when I make the PowerPoint uh, slides there. So all around the, I mean, so let's begin the discussion with the most prevalent question there. When are the schools likely to open and will full fledged we will have classes this year or not? And uh, the discussion focuses on uh, now as I understand I, I, this is a personal thing. Now the government has not or anyone has not declared it or so. But as I discuss with people around, a lot of people connect and then as, a, as I understand, the schools are likely to open uh, in two shifts, not in one shift, the mainly for the primary children from class LKG to class 5 and from class 6 to uh, 10, 11, 12, they are silent. They are not even committing anything about the senior school. So they, they want to run it in shifts there and from the month of September because in the month of October, most of the boards in India, except the IB, they have to fill the forms by October 10th or so for the examination, 9th class registration, 10th class forms, 11th class registration, 12th forms, etc., etc. So that they get the time from October till March or February or uh, begin, I mean end of January when the practical start that much time they gather to prepare for the examinations. After that in India, in six states at least are going to have elections for the assembly, which is slated or scheduled around uh, April, I mean, sorry, May 25th of uh, 21 of this year. So is it also going to be postponed? Is it the exams going to be postponed? Are they going to wave off everything and anything? So things cannot be so easy because there are uh, uh, things which are interrelated, interlinked everywhere. Therefore, there are sequence of events uh, which are linked with uh, each other in operation deaths. So I would like you to draw uh, draw your attention to only one thing there. You all of us have a calendar in school and we are pretty well uh, sure about the number of working days which you will get from September till February, which is six months, almost uh, 
less than about let's say about 125 or 100 and, uh, say 5 into 30 150 let us make it uh, 20 25 working days so six months in all 150 or at the bottom 120 working days we may get at most and there are quite a number of holidays let's say for example in the month of august coming there are holidays about but a few are on saturdays uh, thankfully so these are all issues there so the question now is there some schools had implemented online system uh, even uh, sometime earlier uh, say for example in delhi when there was a pollution they started this and in uh, schools in uh, which i connect uh, especially in germany uh, schools in germany schools in uh, scotland which i keep connecting from time to time where uh, i have colleagues who know me so they have been doing a separate online system which is very very a difficult terrain altogether which we are not very conversant in our schools here fine now let me take you through the powerpoint the powerpoint is uh, in the beginning i'll just ask you a few questions there is e learning the best during the uh, is the best bet do i mean is e learning the best bet during lockdown is it uh, less egalitarian than tv in delivering an education net based learning holds promises provided digital ecosystem uh, improves the coronavirus pandemic has happened, uh, appended our uh, entire world and the academic calendar all over the world has been disturbed. So caught in this maelstrom and some parts of the in urban Indian education system have turned towards a very uh, elite system of education that is the internet or the online education. What about all uh, middle level schools, uh, people who have two, three children at home who are not much conversion with laptop holding or mobile? when we on one side discouraging children to be on the mobile now we are uh, parents are telling them go to the mobile so to be or not to be that is a question the children have this confusion and therefore it is uh, utmost our responsibility to clarify this first doubt is to be or not to be what do they want to do there yeah all these days we are telling no mobile now we are telling go to the mobile <laughs> sir 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 before you start your powerpoint presentation yeah. I would request Swamiji to lead this talk by his yeah. Yeah. first, first I won't say question, first clarity or clarification required from his end. Over to Swamiji with your first question. Sir, mute, 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 mute. Sir, uh, yeah. I believe uh, I believe I'm not the right person to uh, get clarification from such a senior and experienced person. That's why uh, I said don't still, question it. You can clarify whatever you want. Don't question Ravisa. That's what I went. Exactly. Over to you, Swamiji. No, when uh, when sir was uh, saying that uh, the the teachers were so stuck with the the situation, uh, changing from the uh, conventional mechanism of teaching towards digital or online. Uh, sir, what is your thought on uh, the? the psychological change or the change required for the teachers psychologically to accept the digital revolution. Because today I see that Google and Facebook have started investing quite a lot uh, with augmented reality, virtual reality and all digitization sort of things in teaching and they are, uh, they are about to train almost like millions of teachers. So what, what is your thought? Uh, how should teachers look for way forward? rather than the schools, I mean, uh, teachers as individuals uh, for their professional growth as well as for their personal growth. How should they look forward for the to embrace this whole situation? So the teachers need a lot of time and space to get accustomed to it, at least in Indian situations in uh, schools which are uh, in the let's say in the middle level in uh, towns and uh, in rural areas and uh, only in cities. Uh, some of the schools are quite uh, comfortable with the computers. There also, in my opinion, for example, when I had worked in UAE, there is something called computer driving license, which people used to get. But then even if uh, I'm, I'm well acquainted with uh, computer, internet and all that, but at the same time, now I'm doing online classes for grade 12 children thrice in a week. But then I find a lot of problem when I use Skype. Uh, uh, I have been using and it gets stuck in between. So if I use Zoom every 40 minutes, I have to log in and log out and that's another problem. Secondly, writing on a uh, green board because your math teacher, your science teacher, your social studies teacher, English teachers, etc. They have to use definitely a green board or a blackboard in their or a whiteboard in the classroom. Without this, uh, uh, so what I do is normally I write my things on a notebook like this. I keep writing and then I take a 
copy in the phone. Then I put it as a JPG image into the laptop. Then I start going through the Skype. I never used Zoom. I use Microsoft Team for uh, training, but today uh, I had a problem in uh, downloading it. So therefore, a teacher who has been long standing, let's say a senior teacher of 50 year old, could not have been so comfortable with uh, getting into mobiles and uh, laptop. And secondly, mobile, when we see mobile has a different configuration than the laptop and therefore uh, your teacher is uh, not very comfortable even with the laptop because the screen is quite small and the mobile screen is too small to hold then and do it. A very young teacher who has uh, joined the schools uh, very recently can do something on the mobile on his uh, maybe they can message, they can text, they can do WhatsApp, all that. But then when it comes to education, a serious business, because it's a serious business and in this business, we don't want any sort of a thing. That's why I said there are a lot of inhibitions teachers are having. The inhibition comes there because there are onlookers. For example, when uh, children are uh, primary school are taught uh, through mobile devices or online or on TV even, the parents are there near them and then they keep talking to the teacher, correcting them on the spelling or they say something. So naturally, uh, people will feel that, that they're they are infringing into the infringing into their freedom. This is one area. So this is psychologically an issue that there is something. Therefore, they are cautiously, consciously, they are alert, over alert about uh, people watching. And therefore, the sometimes when uh, people can join, the principal or the vice principal of the school joins the online courses, and then they keep looking at it. So naturally, the sometimes uh, though it is all allowed in, uh, because they have to know the quality by which it is going, the timing in which, uh, what is the feedback, all this. So therefore, we must allow a space for it. But uh, at the back of our, the mind, the teachers may have their, their, why are they looking into my, why the parent is uh, asking question, why are they making this comment and all. So on one side, the teachers, most of them resorted to YouTube download where they uh, take the complete package of the lesson, work it out before. Put it up means that is serving on a platter. So when the thing was cooked and served on a platter, they ate and then or they didn't eat and then later on they have to tell what they ate. So therefore there is a difference there between online streamlining, I mean streaming, live streaming and a YouTube channel, live stream and add on. There are four different channels I'm going to now talk about. Psychologically the children feel that they are caught it because once the something is curious, when the mobiles were drawn, withdrawn from them, they are curious to go into that. Now when it is given free for them, they have to be on that. Now it has become very cheap for them. Now they say, no, no, no. I mean, it's too easier for me. So in Tamil, they say Chichi in the Parambulikum. So therefore the mobile has become too familiar to them. Now they don't want it. Now at the same time, the eyesight is a real problem there because the child is prone to looking very close and the distant looking is a different. Issue. Secondly, in the home, uh, you, you, we can't expect two, three laptops and two, three mobiles. And there are elderly persons at home and the child, child have to learn from a mobile, mostly mobiles. And there is not much laptop as I understand. So people don't have laptop. Now some schools told the teachers to buy laptops for themselves. They said, we will finance you and uh, you have to pay EMI. I'm telling you this. I mean, uh, let me not be quoted, but uh, this is a fact. <laughs> then uh, some more uh, people came up uh, saying there that uh, we will, uh, the parents were told to buy laptops from agencies. And then they said, they say, how can you offer? Then they said, you can pay through the school fees and we will put it in EMIs there. So there is a lot of business deal which went on in these days. There. Then the parents say, there, what do I do with the laptops later? I have nothing to do with the laptop. So therefore, these are issues. Now laptops nearly cost 30, ranging from 35, 40,000 to almost 75,000. And immediately you can't use it. You have to take at least a week to load Microsoft and other apps and things like that. There's an empty number of apps coming up there. So mobile became an easier and WhatsApp became the most easiest to think for. Psychologically, the child is feeling there, sitting in the home all the time, then uh, how can I go about it? So this is what psychology, there is a lot of issues. I, I'll answer one more question. I mean, I, one more thing I'll tell you a little later after you finish your things. Yeah, please go ahead, sir. So, uh, Samaji, yeah, I think you have one more question. I'm sure about it. the way, you know, as you, as I see, that Samaji has one more question and then we will go on to the PowerPoint presentation. Over to you, Samaji, for your second question. No, the, the second question was, how do we maintain that, uh, that uh, uh, social or emotional connect during this technology or uh, when we move completely to online or through the online session, how is it 
possible for the teachers to maintain that emotional connect with the students? Sir, it's becoming difficult as much as we do see them face to face in the classroom. We move uh, into the well of the school classroom, I say. Well means into the classroom depth, into the depth of the classroom. We go around, we keep talking to them, we see them, we see them at lunch. We move with them, we are there, we know them per as persons. And so the personal connect was always a very great thing. Same, uh, it's same, I mean, the, the, when you asked a diamond uh, uh, seller, so the boy in the storeroom asked the boss, see, what is the difference between you and me? Then he said, there, see, you know diamond. I mean, you sell diamonds, but I know diamond, I lived with the diamonds. So people lived there. These teachers lived with the children. They not only they taught them, they lived with them. They taught them all sorts of behavioral issues. They were having a vision for them. The children had a, were looking at them as their own parents, etc. Therefore, there was a lot of connectivity in that. Now, when we go online, now when I teach grade 12 children, Sometimes I ask some questions in between, uh, so they they mute it, they don't answer. So when I ask a second time, are, are you able to listen to me? Then they don't answer. Then I you know, I said fine, okay, let's go on to the next. Then they so try what, to answer. What, what do you what do you teach, sir? What do you teach? What's the subject you teach? That's great call now. Maths. Yeah, I have taught it for 38 batches. Now again, I am teaching them online uh, three days in a week. Please go ahead, sir. Please go ahead. Now, when I have to do this, now when I ask them, now most of them, they, they switch off their camera, they switch off their phones. I mean, so they mutate and therefore I'm not able to see them. So when they are absent, I don't know, after some time I realize that they have not come, they come late. And so one of two of them come uh, a little, I mean, uh, in time, then uh, they ask the session, we start the class. Now the, uh, actually to find out whether they have understood our point or is there a clarity needed, unless they ask us, we are not able to ask them. Even if they ask them, we go blank because they don't answer it. So therefore, the class is definitely face to face has a lot of advantages. That's one thing. Uh, secondly, there are certain disadvantages in the connecting because when we do it, uh, say for example, when we do activities, we go with them and we enjoy activity. They also enjoy our presence. They we guide them. So in uh, unless and until we have a very high end technology, which is not much available now right now uh, in India at least. It's difficult to make that connection. So emotionally, the children are a little bit let down. So they are also now wanting to come back to schools. Yeah. Yes, sir. Over to you, sir. Let's start off with your PowerPoint presentation. And uh, uh, in between, if uh, any of the teachers or the viewers have any doubts on the PPT, you can put it on the Q&A and I'll take it up with uh, sir for his uh, explanation. So let's start the session. Let's yeah. let's start the presentation. Please go ahead. So can I uh, can generally share the presentation so that uh, I don't share it. I just on um, uh, this thing. Can it be done like that? Is it possible? Or shall I share it? Better you share it, sir, because here it will be. Yeah, fine. I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it. No. Are you able to see, sir, now? No, we are not able to see it now. Uh, you see now? Is yes, something, is coming, something is popping up, but not seen it. Yeah, one second, one second. Anyway, I'll, I'll go ahead to talking about sir. Then uh, is it now seen? Is it fine? No. Ah, now, now see, now see. See, yeah, I'll go with the presentations now. Okay, uh, please. Um, online learning and teaching and uh, what is that we can do to make it more effective? That is exactly the thing which you are uh, talking about. Now, one of the most important things. Can you, can, you, can you go through the uh, uh, slideshow, sir? Yeah, slideshow. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. You can go into the slideshow, please. Yeah, fine. I do. I do that. So when we let it come, sir, uh, my system takes a little bit uh, time. And uh, so when in all our uh, classroom management or online class management, etc., there is one issue which we need to uh, track, keep track about. And I read it out from the slide. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. And for uh, uh, want of a horse, the rider was lost. For the want of a rider, the battle was lost. For the want of a battle, the kingdom was lost. So, and all for want of a horseshoe knight. So, Harsh through nail was lost, harsh was lost, rider was lost, battle was lost, kingdom was lost. 
so far as small pretty small things there we lose things in our world and uh, so the small things are uh, the i mean analogy or the parallel for what we call as the thing uh, which is there in the software see whiteboard uh, green board or blackboard is not available some of the schools took the blackboards or the green boards and fitted them into the teachers houses but then when the phone was put in front of it so the image was very blurred and they're not able to see it there so the children had a lot of issues along with all this so therefore what happened there ki the and the teachers went through a nightmare even though the education system are trying their best to quickly to respond to the growing demand for digital teaching uh, they are trying their best quickly to respond to this their demand there but then virtual environment can be intimidating for teachers it is very intimidating for teachers and students and uh, creating and engaging meaningful virtual teaching experience takes the right type of tools you should have so what are the right type of tools so i we will go one by one in the later on it will come there what right type of tools uh, in indian situations in town situation where internet connectivity is not very strong situations so that is on one side right tools so tools are there stage is there but then we have to only dance so when we don't dance properly we can't say the stage was not good there and therefore we must have lot of passions means infinite passions and energy so infinite passions and energy is definitely required for online training and teaching now lockdown has uh, had a great impact on uh, learning digitization has created a disruptive online phenomenon because it's not really going very smooth though people may say we are uh, continuing and all the some schools are holding assembly online the morning they put on the uniform in the house uh, they go to their room with the uniform uh, fully i mean uh, tucked with tie and the bag and the shoes and the socks everything they go into the room they sit and then they stand up for the prayer do all that so ceremoniously they conduct the classes there but then the, it has created a disruptive online phenomenon why i say that there that i'll come to the case of karnataka and delhi recently what the court and the recommendations from a high level committee has come that's why i say there are a lot of uh, disruptive online phenomenon happening there are new challenges and opportunities both so on one side disruptions on the other side there are a lot of new challenges every day we come up with some problem for example when i teach now i make some uh, mistakes everywhere uh, at least one mistake i am finding every day somewhere plus minus i have left somewhere instead of putting multiplication sign i put a uh, plus sign somewhere i put plus constant missed so i i understand it then i say boys and girls are just done a mistake here please correct it so as i write faster on a notebook and uh, take a phone image and uh, jpg image i put it in the laptop then uh, present it so there are some mistakes coming up and the writing time is almost for me for one class of 2 hours i have to write minimum 4 hours means double the time and still there are mistakes so now the question is there when the schools are traditionally for long time running with old paradigm you will the paradigm shift happen so there are lot of uncertainties there are definitely lot uncertainties going on there and so now um, be on screen don't use mobile there are conflicting versions coming so to be or not to be is a question then the equitable equitability is one strong uh, value or uh, core value in all schools we want to treat children as children no boys and girls and we want to see them not uh, down trodden or up trodden or something we want to have the gen next generation of learners equitably whether they are the privileged or marginalized or disabled are we able to do it because the children who have a laptop or uh, i mean uh, who are comfort comfortable with mobile or who are having extra support or who can tag a laptop into their uh, tv who all can tag a mobile into the tv all this in a screen main screen they are the most privileged now the children who do not have any of these facilities go to a friend's house and sit there four or five of them gather so four or five of them sometime are welcome sometime they are not welcome so there are a lot of issues uh, happening there now to make a total analysis to have an insight further i have two questions to ask the question number one on your screen in your opinion does online learning and teaching which we call olt online learning and teaching bring out the desired behavioral outcome as much as it happened in the classroom behavioral outcomes are one of the main objectives of a learning or teaching strategies teaching the children what is the desired behavioral outcomes you want to know from them that's one issue if so how do you compare the quantum of it is it less is it more is it uh, really happening very nice 
and in your uh, estimate let's have it as an fir your first information report what do you say about it so uh, uh, professor methal krish shall we have a pass and uh, wait for an answer to come how do they actually quantify this can anyone answer this yeah there is a uh, they say whatever uh, sir you have conveyed uh, uh, is quite appreciative about it uh, but most of them are now wanting to know how do we cope up with the situation that will come in the later stages of, uh, of your presentation i'm sure about it fine isn't fine. it sure. how yeah. are we going to cope up with this uh, situation on a yeah. live streaming how do we cope up with the fine. current situation we will come back so okay. as such uh, there are no other questions so far yeah. but then i would certainly uh, uh, make an announcement to those viewers that we will share this with your permission sir uh, we will share this ppt with the te with the teachers who are whoever is interested can get in touch with uh, 93450 uh, i can also type it for you 93450 i'll type it for you you can just just mention just mention not even your name just mention we like to have the ppts so once you get back to that particular number we will also send you those tomorrow's link for joining us to answer all these questions so the number is 93450 please share your email id we will send you the entire ppt so that you do not sit down and make notes at your house you can receive it through email from us the moment you let us know your email id through whatsapp 9345076625 over to you sir yeah uh, so what happens in schools is that i have now two questions we will ponder over it later but whether it is online or a classroom there is a management issue which happens there the word management differs from the administration let's not confuse the word management we normally refer to the chairman or the md as a management people it's not true it's not correct either uh, it's actually they are the administrators and the management is the second level where principal teachers they all come or coordinators come into picture but classroom management is an idea it's a concept so where rules and procedures discipline and consequences rules and there are set rules and procedures to be followed in a classroom or in an online or there are discipline and consequences what time they attend how do they uh, take that thing and how do we start up or how do we have the warm up and how do we have the incubation period and then how do we launch so teacher student relationship when we question they have to answer you or when you tell them the homework to be done and they have to complete it so there are understanding which we develop there's a relationship already mental set so the mental set is now known as the mindset the mindset of the teacher the mindset of the teacher is is the teacher comfortable is the teacher not very comfortable is the teacher spending too much of a time getting stressed out and then coming to the school uh, thing and uh, doing it uh, so these are issues the mindset is the most important thing because i have been telling teachers there when they come to the school there so sometimes uh, it uh, i mean uh, correct me if i am wrong they come with an infection of anger which comes from home or elsewhere and then they show it on the children which is not uh, and it uh, really you know upsets the whole mood of the class i have done it at least once or twice in my grade 12 children they used to ask me sir why are you uh, i mean uh, not very much in good mood and all that so naturally the mindset is one issue for especially for the online because the online for many teachers is a more difficult process because they have to prepare spend lot of time whether it will go uh, fine or not uncertainty in this build up so therefore this is a thing so student responsibility are they completing their responsible uh, filing their responsibility they are attending to the class proper taking notes completing the notes is it coming back are we checking it the notes correction and uh, completing their notes means student uh, uh, completing their notes or question answer or their assignment and uh, we correcting it is a lot of issues how are we going about now management at the school level management at the school level means how are we managing our things so what software do we have whether we use zoom or uh, skype or what we use what all these provided what is that you are looking for what is it not coming or is it too much to ask etc okay so in general uh, a rule identifies general expectation there is rule everywhere you set a rule the school sets a rule uh, the administrator set a rule the students set a rule for themselves it all are general expectations or standards which is to be there there is a standard benchmarking which happens a single rule can impose a wide range of expected behaviors etc so based on the rule 
we want to see whether the rule is followed and how the behavior is because say for example on the road if the traffic policeman stops your car there so naturally there is a rule and he expects you to behave and uh, stop your car and that's what the expectation is if you ask a question to your student then you want him to stand up and answer when you come into the classroom you want them to greet you or you should greet them so things are there there are inputs there are reasons so there are behavioral outcomes which we have always and we want to inculcate in them a sense of dignity sense of self esteem sense of respect all that so we have to be very uh, careful about and we have to be quite uh, you know uh, minding this or quite uh, focused on this area now i have the next question is in your opinion does olt bring out the expected skills now expected skill i'll just put you in a minute the expected skill mean we teach them uh, for example photosynthesis and photosynthesis we say their plants make their own food plants make their own habitat uh, plants uh, search their own food animals uh, i mean animals make their own habitat animals search their own food and uh, things like that plants make their own food so simultaneously the skill to be developed on this is the skill to be developed is whether they have cooking skills whether they have self depending skills whether they have independent thinking skills whether they have a skill of uh, being on their own so these are the skills when we teach photosynthesis at the same time behavioral outcomes out of photosynthesis is the behavior is there when they grow up they have to really see the environment they have to get their food they have to survive on their own so surviving at the best of the adverse situations is one behavior so are they learning that the utmost adverse circumstances will they survive so these are the things which we have to teach while we teach photosynthesis to a student now are there now in your opinion when you do it face to face and when you do it online are there variations are there only feelings or psychological comfort discomfort are there is it measurable noticeable differences in outcome so what i mean to ask is the expected skills which you must have listed in your planning in your not uh, in your lesson plan let's say for example or in your planning itself you must have told, you must have been deciding on what is the behavioral outcome what is the expected outcome what is the assessment and all those stuff or what is the activity to be done so are you finding it happening or to some level not to any level or is it not at all happening etc is the question there now in this also there are rules and procedures common to classroom management crm is classroom management oltm is uh, online uh, teaching online learning and teaching management crm again is classroom management and uh, oltm is online learning t t is teaching management so in both the uh, online management or classroom face to face management the general classroom behavior let's call it as a classroom even though it is online or face to face beginning and end of the period now today for example when we started beginning it there is an introduction there is a briefing what are we going to do what is the ye maksad kya hai and then what is the outcome what is the thing we are discussing and how do we have transactions within us so transitions and interruptions so they, there are transition we have to tra transacting we have to have transitions we have to interruptions you have to use material and equipment so i use a ppt i use a word document i use my speaking so is it only chalk talk and uh, walk is it only chalk talk and walk we do even now in the classroom and in the online also or is it a different thing or is it difficult to do that group work how do the children do their group work how do they uh, do the seat work and how the teacher led activities are happening are the teacher led activities really uh, happening meaningfully happening or easily happening or happening with all difficulties so we sir, need to sir, analyze sir, sir yes, there sir. is a, sir there is a question from one mr raguna yeah uh, he says uh, he is asking us a question as to how to de stress teachers yeah. uh, with on screen time i mean the teachers uh, feel stressed when they are on screen and they are bit of uh, you know uh, worries or you know uh, you know they they are totally out of focus when they are on screen and that pulls them down and how do uh, what is your recommendation and suggestion for us for a teacher to de stress when they are on screen can you just give us some tips on that sir please yeah so there will be lot of stress because they have to work out uh, almost double or triple the time as i am experiencing it earlier when i used to go to classroom i never used to even prepare my notes or anything i i was quite good at it so i used to write up and i i never made mistakes in uh, of course in my faintest memory but now i am making mistakes i write it copy it or i use a whiteboard and i 
uh, talk on the WhatsApp and uh, type it and then again transfer it to the laptop. Or I go to Google Meet and uh, speak and then it types because typing a A4 page or questions is difficult. Maths, chemistry, physics, economics, etc. or accountancy is pretty difficult to make the script for them and we can't just download it, uh, copy paste it into the thing. So there is a lot of stress which the teachers are uh, undergoing, undue stress also. So you will be having not bit of worries, you will be having tons of worries. So, but then it is all worth uh, taking it because you will grow through that and you will see through that that you have grown a lot and you have got a really different experience altogether, number one. So if you have to de-stress yourself, the one thing is there, you come to the class at least about five to ten minutes and set your class beforehand, almost about not less than an hour. So you will have, there are hiccups happening with the internet, hiccups happening with the downloads, hiccup happening with the YouTube, or if you are going online streaming, there will be Skype will give trouble, Zoom will give trouble, you have to log on, log off, children will run away, all sorts of things are to happen. Sir, but uh, only one thing we have to take, sir, what I have been understanding, because I also get stressed out a lot. What is one issue is when we ride a horse, uh, we expect the horse not to understand us, we understand the horse. And yes. therefore, uh, long years back, we had something called a Bajaj Chetak scooter. You would have seen it. When you have yes. to start a scooter Bajaj Chetak, uh, you would have seen it. You have to tilt it onto the left side and then yes. uh, then make it straight and then you have to kick it. So it is an Indian way of doing. We were quite accustomed to that. We never complained about customer, customer issues and things like that. But therefore, when we ride a horse, when we ride a Tuta Buta cycle, when we ride Bajaj Chetak scooters or anything like that, then we have to understand the machine. So in this, we have to understand the machine, which is the computer and the functions of the computer, which is copy pasting or downloading or internet or internet uh, things, uh, when the thing gets stuck up, how to be comfortable with all that. So this apprehension or uh, things will be there a lot and therefore you will get stressed out. Don't worry. See if uh, there are mistakes happening, uh, let us have an experience. Don't have to worry about it at all. Go forward. Uh, it happens, so let us not much uh, give attention to it. It's when the onlookers, for example, parents or the school administrators, uh, when they try to, the, the thing comes from there. If they ask, what do I say? I feel embarrassed. Don't worry about it because it's uh, we were not into this uh, system at all earlier. And our uh, Indian system of teaching was totally different. We were never much into online there except for uh, recent times. And therefore, we have to accept it with a uh, thing that don't at all get upset about it. Yeah, sir. So very much, sir. I think uh, sir has uh, cleared all your doubts on distressing yourself when you are on screen. And over to you, sir, for your presentation again. Yeah, fine. So, uh, what is the present software uh, you use? Let's have a uh, thinking about it. Whether you use a Skype, whether you use Zoom, and how frequently you log in, log out, and is there a 40 minutes uh, duration and number of participants? That with IQ, some schools are using, and the Microsoft Team. Uh, now we are using, for example, Microsoft Team. Google Classroom, Google Meet, and uh, my view board uh, thing, then there are umpteen number of other softwares these days in the market. But I, I can list out a lot of host of it. I have been seeing them, not really using them. So that is one side. What, uh, what else that you are using? What is the advantage of it, disadvantage? How do you write on a board? And how do you make writing on a board? There are, are you totally done away with writing? Or when you, the writing part of it comes, how do you manage it, number one? How do you write maths equations, chemistry equations, physical uh, theories, everything? Or in a down below class in a primary school, when you have to teach them pronunciation or uh, let's say uh, phon phonics or phonetics, so how do you go about it? And uh, do you use a, a podcast or do you use a YouTube video or how do you insert it, etc.? Now, how do you, question number four is, how do you plan and check written works homework? Because ultimately, teaching is like cooking. So many of the house mothers used to tell me, you see, sir, 4.30 in the morning, I get up, make idlis and uh, this thing, and my child never eats idlis, he hates it. And what do I do with it? You see, after all, all my hard work has gone away. So the fun of the uh, cooking is in eating. The fun of the teaching is in the learning. Is learning really happening? So the teaching becomes meaningful when the learning has completely happened. So the teaching is really fruitful. Is it totally meaningful when learning has completely happened. In fact, in the classroom face to face, the day, the time when you come in, when you are taught them, when you leave, they must be a teacher. 
they must be able to teach the same topic what you taught them if i have taught them differential equation if i uh, teach them uh, newton's theory of motion then they must be when you leave the class they must be able to teach them to the others will it happen or will it happen to some extent or in online is it uh, happening how do you get the evidence for it is the return work as an evidence if you take i am only asking one evidence assessment later return works how do we check it online homework online for primary school especially well we always mind the senior school but the most important component in a school is the pre primary kg and primary because this is a formation stage that's what i need to say uh, going forward now the teacher reaction comes because many of the thing when we say discipline discipline is not simply the uh, personal discipline or the behavioral discipline i'm talking about the entire uh, learning happens when there is a discipline way of doing it means you are most organized most organizedly you presented it and the most organizedly you interacted there most organizedly you uh, gave them the comprehension or they could they are able to grasp all thing so what was the teacher reaction so at the end of every lesson we may feel sometime very good about it sometime we may not feel uh, you know all whatever i worked in the inputs what i got i am not really happy with the way it with them in heart of hearts we know but then we will never say it out for example i do per day at least one mistake in my class these days so when i do a mistake i tell the children children i am sorry there is a error here please correct it and then when i say it myself that then i feel but then later after the class i feel that how is it happening with me every day i am doing a mistake there is it not there that uh, is it something that uh, this thing then i tell the children tell them you do as many mistakes as possible in my class so i can correct you but if you do a mistake in exam it costs you one cuz i mean uh, one mistake let's say 5 rupees your mistake you count then that many mistake you are going to pay through your nose when you do the mistakes in the examination whereas do it in my class there therefore then i reconcile myself okay i am also doing a mistake so teacher reaction is a very important thing there the stress level comes out because sometimes see we all prepared so much but then they are not eaten what i cooked then tangible rewards so we always expect a reward what is the reward for this? all this i have done lot of work morning i got up 3 o'clock i got up i prepared my things there or somebody going to recognize this going to this thing or and that's one thing we expect a reward or we expect a student reward or the reward for the children so all this we expect these are tangible rewards then tangible is different uh, the word tangible you can uh, just understand then direct cost when something goes wrong uh, in the situation of online what do you do in a class direct cost means directly going and uh, giving a punishment or a patting or a encouraging word or saying hi nice or being uh, emotional or whatever a good or bad and uh, that is a different uh, discussion altogether that there is a direct cost in our classroom what about online in online when things go wrong there how do we correct it the group contingency and the home contingencies group contingency is that many uh, places i find that there is a teacher who is required to assist the teacher to host it if you don't have a helping hand sometime you go for example up to class 3 many schools have a uh, assistant teacher or there is an aya so they help them to uh, arrange the things keep the uh, chair and table so the in the home when the children are learning at home then who arranges them who organizes them and uh, I, there are some memes coming up if you see recently a meme has come or uh, one um, teacher uh, i mean you would have seen it was in the whatsapp a lot and uh, the teacher was telling that the, the, the parent was brushing the teeth and the parent was uh, feeding them breakfast when i am starting the class and they are like this they are like that so the home contingency there may be elderly parents and so there may be disturbances of noise the noise in the audio will be quite audible you know all these issues come up so we need to take care of this we must understand that there are problems everywhere it's not there so in spite of the problems are always there we cannot wish it away we can't have a bath in the ocean we can't wait for the waves to die the waves when we say there i will have a bath only when the waves are off we are never going to have a bath so when we see there the problems when we overcome one after another don't overcome the problem let it remain we will go with that move forward so let us not go in circles let us go forward with all that and you are too good i am telling the teachers are now too good to bear all the burden so not only the burden it's a great responsibility at this time at this time when uh, when, when somebody feels hungry he has to be fed when somebody is uh, get uh, when somebody is at home uh, doing nothing or uh, how to spend the time when parents are worried naturally we come as the best rescuers and therefore the good samaritans 
the teachers are. The teachers are the best, uh, good, uh, not only good Samaritan, they are the best Samaritans. So as a best, best Samaritan, please go ahead with whatever problems you face, with whatever criticisms happen, with whatever they say, good or bad, and uh, just to treat it as if it's all one and the same thing for me. So online classes become inevitable. They are very inevitable during this lockdown. We can't wish it away. The uncertainty period demands uh, online teaching keep continuity of why parents are demanding. Now parents are saying we want this. And one set of parents are saying that we don't want it because uh, we don't have the infrastructure. We don't have a, a mobile, we don't have laptops and uh, we don't want it. When the school opens, you compress the syllabus and do it. This is one side. The other side of parents are logically saying that if you do not keep continuity of the learning, quite likely they may forget and then they keep no link with the prerequisites which they have learned in the previous classes, which I find is a logical thing because the prerequisites once forgotten, it's difficult to pick up in the next class. So that to keep the connectivity, to keep the link on, so the link doesn't die. At one level, online classes will connect students and on another create limitations. It is also true. There are limitations which will be created uh, we are not able to correct their homework. We are not able to see their assessment, all this. This has made us reflect on the inequality, not only in bandwidth gadgets and the devices, but also in the fact that most parents do not have the time or ability to support their children in their web chat. See, they don't have a mobile. They don't know how to operate a laptop. They don't know what they are doing, whether they are straying here and there into the laptop. Yeah, the elderly children of a class 7, 8 level can be not very concentrated. They may stray into some other area quite possible on a net when you give them. So uh, are the new technologies a substitute for the old realities or uh, they replace them without consequences? Because earlier the technology was used as a complement to, to the traditional classroom setting. Earlier, again I repeat this, earlier till uh, recently, the technology was a complement to, to the traditional classrooms, but now it has become a substitute for the classroom reality. So everything is now online and therefore uh, there is uh, no end because the demand in each school is different and uh, I will come to, I mean, I'll just read it out uh, in between. In this slide, I just have to tell you. For example, there was a recently a court case in uh, Karnataka and the High Court of Karnataka has uh, made after the NIMHANS, that is the National Institute for uh, Mental Health had given the National Institute for Mental Health and Neurosciences uh, said there that the online classes have ill effects on children. They declared this. So therefore, some of the, and then the government said that, that we will not hold the online classes for uh, children up to class 5. LKG till class 5, they will not have classes. So that uh, parents went to the court. A case was filed and the uh, government actually, the uh, court has given a verdict for the government to make some recommendation to make a via media. And what the via media they have given is, there are, uh, the classes are allowed under the conditions that live and pre-recorded classes can be held, number one. But parental supervision is required until class two. So children of LKG, UKG and uh, class one and two, these four classes must be, can have live and pre-recorded classes, but only with parental supervision. So how do you know that and how do we ensure that there is a parental supervision? Is the parent or the parents good enough to take a decision, number one? Screen time for children of LKG to class 5 should be restricted to two sessions, no longer than 30 minutes. That means in a day, two classes of 30 minutes each, that means one hour per day, five uh, days. So five into one hour, five hours only they can be taught. So how many subjects, how many, how many times or how many rotations the teachers will take? That's one question. Then for classes uh, five, I mean six onwards, see LKG to five, uh, two sessions no longer than 30 minutes each. This is one order recommendation. And for classes uh, six and above for a maximum of five days a week, but 45 minutes each for students in classes six and above. And so uh, the number of classes should be restricted to three classes per day. Mean three into 45, uh, that many minutes means uh, 135 minutes per day, uh, which is about two hours plus 15 minutes and for five days in a week only. And therefore, three classes into five days means about 15 periods. So in 15 period, five subject means three turns uh, subject will get. This is one simple arithmetic. And four, and four, and four classes, four period in a day for classes nine to 10. So again, let me just say this. Classes uh, uh, two to five, two period, not more than 30 minutes each. 
class of 6 and above uh, five periods uh, five days in a week and uh, maximum of three three daily 6 7 and 8 and for classes 9 10 it is four periods in a day and all five days in a week not more than five days so lessons and so naturally about 11 and 12 they have not made any recommendation they were silent so there are a lot of questions what happens to the grade 11 and 12 so they were silent so what happened there that they are taking their own discretion to do anything about 11 and 12. Now the fourth recommendation is lessons should be interactive. Interactive. The non-screen time schedule must be followed two days a week. So how do we do that? Which means schools should not hold online classes for more than five days a week. So what about the Saturday? Can they call them? The committee has also recommended that students should have access to recordings of live sessions with adequate cyber protection. This also is a recommendation. Face-to-face -face interaction, uh, the face-to-face -face, uh, interaction between teachers and students in sanitized common areas like verandas, community halls, open spaces, etc. And staggered sessions can be held. Now, can be held is something different there should be held. So parents and uh, school administration have a lot of conversation, debate and heated arguments over can be uh, done and uh, some schools do it over enthusiastically, some schools don't do it. So this can is a very important word. Therefore, the open sessions can be done is the wording actually used there. Therefore, face-to-face -face interaction between teachers and students in sanitized common areas and with limited number of students. Now limited number, what is the number? So who decides it? These are questions. Therefore, now we face a lot of things which come as we proceed to then the teachers are asking why not all this sir? why not we start the school. So some states have decided not to conduct online classes for primary students till recently. But now there is a change coming up. Uh, governments are still uh, working on it. In all likelihood the discussion as I said in the beginning September beginning the schools may start uh, which may be the teachers day or one day before. So September 5 we may expect there that the schools may open. Sir, anything uh, you want to say, sir, in between? Shall I go ahead? No, no, you can continue with your presentation. I have a few questions which I would like to yeah. uh, ask the, uh, once your presentation is over. Yes, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll just uh, go fast. Yeah. So, uh, one second. My system is hanging. I think uh, one second, sir. Yeah. Well, no, take your time, sir. Once again. Yeah. So there is an equitable thing which is now being discussed. See, the, why they are saying that there is a ban to be imposed on online learning is there. The, that if learning is not available to all, because if poor children can't afford to have a mobile at their home, if some uh, houses have not had the facility to have multiple mobiles or multiple laptops in their house, so if uh, learning is not available to all, means even middle class, even upper class children, they may not have the facility, sometimes not available. The parent has taken the laptop, both are working parents, or they are working with it. They also have, uh, they are, most of them are working from home. They, can, they can't uh, spare the laptop. For example, if somebody asks me to spare my laptop, for a few hours, I'm really not able to do it in there. I'm, I'm not in a position to spare it at all. So then it should be available to everybody since it is not uh, it is some are deprived and not available to all so it should not be available to one therefore that is one logic which came in so they wanted a ban it should be ensured that uh, as is though therefore we have to equip everybody by uh, online or offline teaching have to be embedded with emotional and social learning for a psychological safety so increase thinking conversations decrease social conflict decrease social conflict means these are more and more of responsibilities we are holding. That means we have to resolve the conflict and all that. So uh, a few minutes, sir, and the level of success across classes and income levels is determined by the ease of digital access and the ability of the parents to support learning. Ease of uh, learning and uh, the two access are ease of digital access, the ability for them to support at home. So it's not, I mean, uh, the parents are having uh, all these issues. Now parents are not ready to send their children to school and uh, demand because they still have the fear of infection in school. They demand online education to continue while reducing the syllabus for upcoming classes. This is one strategy they are adopting. So for students belonging to weaker sections of society who do not have proper access to online education tools, 
the choice between on campus and online schooling is even harder to make now what do we do so we are caught up whether to go to school the others are saying no so the nimhans uh, new delhi said that online education exposes students to too much of screen time and affects their psychological development it made an observation so devices and advisors are keeping the children confused the children are confused because of the devices because of the advisors during this lockdown period so the children are locked up in their home they are unable to move out so when they are not moving out even in a school system and now i want to bring this to your notice one third of the classes should be given to computer classes library yoga uh, uh, physical health education so that the children get up from their seats and move around they don't uh, glue to their seats there and therefore when one third of the period mean about 45 periods in a week or 48 period 16 of them should be devoted to moving uh, around so those classes they go to the library they go to the computer class so they get up from their class they go elsewhere so they move so they happily go uh, i mean jumping around so that is a psychological issue after the online classes substituted classrooms most children are glued to the otherwise restricted devices so far we were restricting now they were glued to this device so an ambiguity or uh, a thing which is happening so experts while welcoming digital learning warn that it may impede development of social skill increase irritability irritability because the children are always sitting and then seeing them they will not walk around the house and see it. and the ability and it reduces the ability to concentrate in long term it uh, becomes a boredom after all so parents who restrain the children from gadgets now insist they restrain them now they said no 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 all this day now they say no 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 get it get it done get on to your books and get on to your uh, this thing so now what's the problem behavioral outcomes expected from olt and developing skills get impeded or not one thing is it a problem happening or not happening so no great purpose served flouting equitability this is one thing is a social issue we may not be much aware of it but the social it is happening they are flouting it equitability after all that is not the right thing to do because right to education act when it came there it says that you ought to be equal to everybody so is it uh, is it that we are doing or is it uh, we are depriving or uh, are we depriving children so what is the solution the solution is in four levels sir now the solution level we have come to so shall i go ahead and complete it or uh, uh, sir you can go ahead sir you yeah, can yes, go sir. ahead Yeah. yeah, I will take another few minutes. I finished up. Yeah, certainly you can go ahead, sir. Yeah, because they have to come back, sir, when they have doubts on it, because we are running out of time. And uh, now, one is the basic level. Uh, the see, there are four levels in which you can carry out your class. Firstly, how do you write on a board? Do you have a yes, uh, board on which you write, or do you write on a paper, copy it and put it, or you don't write at all? This is one issue. How do you do lab experiments? how do you bring a magnet to your online classroom how do you bring uh, uh, things to you inside your houses how does a computer learning happens or how does a learning english or uh, learning uh, languages happen or how do you teach social studies are there group work happening there are there question answers happening or are we running to complete the class or just are we on a run without an interaction so they are conductors and the class is their orchestra this is one thing happening so during that uh, orchestra is happening so the conductor has already pre finalized all their thing they come they know they play the orchestra so nothing in between they talk so the basic there are four level let me come to this the basic level is upload your lesson into youtube channel and then uh, problems are mobile shooting audio distraction there are lot of audio disturbances which come writing is not eligible poor internet connections uh, power connection goes off etc etc these are problems the live channel streaming through zoom skype google classroom microsoft team biz iq this is one thing where and then the next channel i mean the live channel is the teacher teacher using a, a board which is a white board or a, he puts a mobile on a stand or a chair in front of the white board and or a green board and writes or on the wall they write god only knows how where they write that's so not writing not happening etc digital uh, digitizing writing that is how do we write on a tablet and it gets straight fed into the live this is one important question that is the answer is there later the live channel plus add ons so the third channel is the live channel or plus add on live channel mean now what we are doing is a live channel plus add on i am not done uh, the only add on is a ppt uh, we are not even shown you an activity or a youtube video or things like that because of the fear of the computer hanging so once the computer hangs uh, or the windows are not accepting when it is tired the windows also get tired 
so i now feel that i make mistakes in the classroom because my neurons are getting tired in my brain and therefore the light channel plus add on is a lot of uh, issues so there is a lot of issues behind it say add on or the pdf worksheets paint whiteboard switch over uh, scripts as jpg images or on cam objects websites downloaded clips etc there are innumerable things which you can show them a yeah, jpg image even if you want to show it has to be there already so uh, to organize them in sequence now before you come to the class you must have time and space do we have it we must have time and we must have time and space do we have the time and space uh, apart from our regular routine work do we have the time and space to do it before class perfectly do it up and come and uh, stage it so there is a question there net and then net disruptions etc happen there are sequencing problem uh, windows strength of multiple change over windows 10 uh, really creates a problem there i have a windows 7 laptop i have a windows 10 laptop the windows 10 laptop is the most advanced one but it still it has problems whereas windows 7 laptop like a very understanding guy he goes forward so what is the fourth channel it is the ideal way the fourth channel the most important time to visualize gather compile edit sequence float present the fourth channel is the ideal way the ideal way is how do you make your scripts and how do you digitalize it put it so the ideal way may not be really best suited to all situations let us understand it it's ideal way aur matlab we are matlab hum iske baat kar rahe hain aadarsh wali baatein keh rahe hain आदर्श वाली बातें हैं ये आइडियल रोमो आइडियल ऑन वे दैट इज अ परफेक्ट वे कॉन्ट बी मे मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस वी आर वी मे नॉट बी एबल टू डू इट सो वी एक्सेप्ट इट सो द फोर्थ चैनल आइडियल वे इज द राइट प्रिस्क्रिप्शन इन मेनी कंट्रीज बट मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट इट्स अ मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट टेरेन फॉर द इंडियन स्कूल नाउ द व्हाट इज दैट आइडियल थिंग इज रिटर्न इन द टॉप टाइम टू विजुअलाइज यू हैव टू विजुअलाइज व्हाट ऑल कैन आई ऐड कैन आई ब्रिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट कैन आई ब्रिंग अ youtube video can i download it can i clip the video so that it uh, doesn't you know take long due time can i take a discovery education video can i can i take a bbc video etc how do i clip it can i take an mp3 can i act can i dance can i say some jokes yeah, will they record it can i uh, write and the worst part of it comes there where you have to have technical writing like math writing chemistry writing physics writing accountancy writing or physical education classes or uh, lab classes computer training etc 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 when there are technical writings which go on it's not easy to type so as you speak on for example if you take google meet uh, when you take the google meet app you just uh, register yourself and you speak as you speak on in whatsapp also you have that facility you switch on that mic you speak it types it out for you but then when you type it out be very careful there names will be mispronounced and typed so when uh, yesterday also when i pronounced somebody's name i won't mention it but then it typed very wrongly if i had not corrected it the person would feel very offended that his name was made into this way so we have to be to visualize to gather all that compile it where are the websites where are the material available where do how do i compile where do i have the time to compile them edit them sequence them float it float it in the thing go back and forth checking yourself then present it that day so so many steps are there in uh, presenting to a small classroom especially the smaller children pp children kg children have to be presented with it but then in the class directly you can do it it's possible so to float on all that the fourth channel has a lot of thing camcorders webcam use of two smartphones uh, post production voice over etc etc digital pen and uh, so whether we can put it in my view board uh chromebooks google sheets docs calendar slides and then uh, g suite or my view board etc etc or cloud based whether virtual learning when it happens in the ideal situation on premise cloud based open source sas platform paid sas platform etc there are lots of other things there are a lot of other things also which come into the market and uh, so naturally what i suggest is what is actually easier for you please choose that don't worry about too much of the things are available you throw money you buy anything that is the one uh, aspect you throw money you can afford to buy you will buy it but then when you <laughs> can't uh, when schools can't afford when we have to understand that situation so human effort so the human effort is one of the most important things in uh, school it's not money which makes everything we can't uh, buy things there and uh, then the usage of it so therefore to conclude my speech i mean my thing there what i mean to say there 
see the delhi schools uh, had a thing called the uh, bunyad uh, classes and the happiness class family they had to uh, put it online and the career launcher also conducted online classes for uh, classes 11 by a lead teacher and uh, subject teacher then they sent sms ivr almost 40000 uh, people joined this social media and it they hosted it online for almost uh, delhi government run schools a two fold strategy has been adopted one for the children uh, young children up to class 8 using a non internet based approach and second for children in the classes 9 to 12 using internet a generic happy class for family was introduced for all children and their families <laughs> for about a fortnight the government teachers conducted this thing and uh, they went and the career launcher also did uh, their bit so there are uh, solutions lms solutions like moodle edmodo google classroom chamilo canvas microsoft team my view board zoom Google Meet and a host of other platforms. There are apps like Un Academy, Udemy, GradeUp. Uh, so for a long time, these things are there. So what actually is your choice? So the four levels are there. First, choose your choice. Close your work for a time and then work on it with actually some people or some students even helping. For example, in class 12, one of the students helped me to go into Zoom. I never even uh, was using Zoom there. so people can help you so there are there are many options for teachers to use my view board learning software to create and deliver lessons but in all that it is like a paint you have to use a pen but then the handwriting will not uh, just writing on the white board uh, which is there in built in microsoft i have on my laptop a white board but then i cannot write so shout it out activities enable student to send text etc teachers can uh, then rearrange organize all these things can happen please look into my laptop and uh, lastly to conclude uh, with this uh, so the conclusion is you are full fledged uh, sorry i think i went off screen uh, the conclusion is there there is a full uh, sorry the last slide i will just come back to you on this and uh, maybe again i'll just say that the full fledged uh, software which is very difficult to have as a whiteboard how do you get a whiteboard how do you do the uh, use a full fledged software having a whiteboard component or improvise so in the days to come uh, which may be say ultimately you improvise something think over what could be easier because at present there are issues happening so recently one of the tamil magazines a very popular magazine tamil magazine uh, had uh, made a survey online it's a reliable magazine that's why i'm quoting it to you what it said there there were 326 responses in which uh, this uh, blue line shows uh, this is new normal uh then this is for uh, children benefit it is 48.2% then it uh, creates depression uh but it is a useful thing all this percentages you can see in this so saying all this i make a conclusion thank you so much and thanks uh, especially uh, uh, uh dr maheshwara chaitanya and uh, professor methil krish uh, immensely thank you i look forward to your questions in the next two days i am free to answer your questions uh, i will do it up i have free time i am a free person you can do it uh, sir please i hand it over to you now yeah prof uh, i mean uh, sir can you come out of that uh, stop yes, sir. Uh, sharing hello uh, stop sharing the slides sir am i audible yeah you are audible but you, you can you can go out of the slides so you will be visible much more larger than what you are visible now so anyway sir it it, is, it has been a <laughs> great learning for all of us and uh, uh, i don't know how to say those uh, 1 3 2 3 4 5 6 letter word or something thanks or thank you so much but certainly uh, it was an eye opener for all of us with lot of information that you had uh, gathered from your exposure and experience and uh, shared with our teaching community and i'm sure many of our teachers will benefit out of this uh, talk of yours and for those who are joined little late for those of you who are still interested to get this with the permission of our sir if you want this ppt to be to be shared with you through your email please contact 9345076625 we'll be only pleased to share this with you and you can use it for uh, some other purpose with some other teachers and let the entire teaching community benefit on this particular topic online teachings and its effectiveness uh, i always conclude uh, uh, with uh, somis final uh, million dollar question to our uh, guest of honor today uh, 
uh, Mr. Ravi sir, and over to you, Swamiji, for your last and the final question to sir. Over to you, Swamiji. Uh, sir, I was uh, I was just listening, and uh, though I was working in between, I could listen to your idli example. The example of idli cooking in the morning and uh, children are not eating that idli. So that that uh, that is a classic example that we we will remember forever. So what if in future let us assume that robots will come and cook idli? And same way, uh, do you think that uh, the the teaching the whole teaching will be uh, automated and we will call it as a kind of a uh, instruction based session rather than we call it as teaching? Uh, will that be the case in may, uh, perhaps maybe after 10 to 15 years? Uh, sir, I'll answer it in a thing. And uh, quite a number of mothers used to talk to me, young mothers especially. Uh, uh, especially this uh, you are saying, uh, the instructions which will happen by robots or by programmed instruction, let us say. This which is totally programmed, no teacher, only facilitator. Of course, the teachers have to be facilitators. But that will be on the one extreme. But then that is a very difficult proposition, especially for India. It will not happen, sir, in next 20 to 30 years. Because why I say this is many mothers come to me. I'll just take one minute to tell you one thing. Let us examine and uh, introspect ourselves on one thing. Many mothers become when they cook and then bring, uh, for example, one mother was making a uh, bengan ka sabji, means katrika kari. So she was making, she likes it very much, and then they keep on giving it to the child. The child hated it core. Now the, uh, the, the mother uh, treated that as a hatred on her. The child hates the curry, but the mother took that, uh, translated that to that hatred as the, instead of the hatred on the curry, the mother took it as a hatred on her. So slowly she kept on doing it, insisting and pressurizing, getting into, I mean, obsessions. So it becomes a compulsive obsession for the mother that she kept on doing that curry only and then in different different forms and she liked it. Child was not at all liking it. So there was a conflict and she became the sabji. In fact, she became the curry because she equated herself with the curry. So the psychic became that that they became one. And therefore, in many schools there, the teachers, the parents become the children. They teach them when they don't understand, then they try to Bring in. I, I'm a, I'm a uh, person who did that mistake with my two twins. And uh, so what happened there? You become as if you know when they don't understand or so you really go uh, with facial expressions, with anger and all. And once you do it, learning will never happen. And therefore becoming a curry because these two things are totally different. We have to see it like a different thing. Like you would have seen uh, parents or uh, people sitting in front of uh, movies. When some crying scene happens, they cry because they get totally involved and engrossed into that. And therefore, when they become one that and therefore that that is uh, and then you have to see everything as a photo frame. It, it's not a reality thing. It's a different thing. So therefore, when we are still in that situation, because many mothers are uh, into this, they're victims of this thinking or the psychic. So they become the curry there and therefore I have to tell them that see they're not hating you. They like you. They don't like this thing which is different from you. So to segregate many things away from them. So it's very difficult for our mother. So first thing is a lot of training has to go to our parents. We need to talk to them openly, have time and space to do that. Tell their children, after all this, these children are really good, I tell you. As days are advancing, I have a very good opinion about the children. In fact, I tell my school children, I tell my own sons, you are 100 times intelligent than me. Then why bother? I'm, when I'm leading a happy life, you will do it better. Therefore, let the parents not have an apprehension. They are really in tension. So the best way to reduce the tension is to do in, get into action. But the extreme part of a programmed instruction will not happen in the future in India. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So Bengan ka sabji can be between wife and husband also, isn't it, sir? Yes, yes, yes sir. Lots, so, lots. Yes. Most, most of the wives, they mistake the husband. You know, actually, we don't like the dish made by uh, the wife. But we think, you know, the wife thinks that the husband doesn't like the wife. So it can be even correlated to wife and husband uh, relationship. Anyway, thank you so much. and. Uh, it's time for us to wind up, but again, I repeat that uh, people who are keen on getting these PPTs can contact 93450-76625 on WhatsApp with their email ID. It will, we will be only too pleased to share these PPTs for your 
usage in any any further occasions for the teacher community that's number one number two i'll be coming back we will be coming back with uh, ravi sir again uh, tomorrow at 4 pm uh, i'm discussing all these 500 odd questions whatever is possible we'll discuss tomorrow and uh, we will give we will receive all the clarifications and uh, he would clarify all our doubts and hopefully people who are interested can join us back again tomorrow at uh, 4 pm the link also will be sent to you shortly once we create it, create the same by this evening and i'm sure by tomorrow morning you will have the link on your whatsapp or through your mail and if you don't get the link please again contact 9345076254 for getting the link and the ppt so thank you so 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 very much sir, Michael, sir. for your you, sir. precious time it was lovely uh, seeing all those uh, very important points of our teachers to reform from an ordinary life class teachers to extraordinary life class teachers of the future so thank you so much and thank you so much for also being uh, with us for the last almost one and a half hours yes. so till we meet again tomorrow at uh, 1600 hours 4 pm for this for discussing the questions with ravi sir till then i bid farewell to all of you and uh, signing off from amrita vishwa vidyapeetham headquarters etimade coimbatore thank you so much once again thank you so much once again thank you jai hind